Hello and welcome to this introduction to CHOP FMRU. To get the program, go to chop-fmru.com, open the website, and scroll to the bottom to the download section. Click on the button and download the zip file that contains the software. I've already done that. Extract the zip file somewhere and open CHOP FMRU. A window will pop up which will let you look at an instructions manual, launch the program, or look at an example case. I've already downloaded the case, so let's open it in the program. Select File, Load Example to load the example case into the program. Give it a few seconds to load. So here we have the case. We can use the slice control to look through the slices, either left-clicking or right-clicking, and the same for the time points. Left-clicking moves a single point, while right-clicking moves by several points at a time. So once we have that, let's begin the analysis. The first thing we need to do is find the aorta. So here it is. And now let's use the time point control to find when the aorta is close to being maximally enhanced. So there we have it. Select Auto ROI Aorta. Draw two regions of interest around the aorta, around the level of the renal arteries, as shown here on the MIPS. For the third region of interest, place it on the inside of the aorta. Once you do that, click Done, and several things will be calculated for you. And you should see a red overlay in a couple of seconds, like so. Okay, once we have that, let's uh, start analyzing the kidneys. We could start with either side. Let's do the left for this example. So we need a time point where the parenchyma is fully enhanced, like so, and also ideally right before the collecting system is fully enhanced, like so. Let's repeat the steps that we did for the aorta, for the kidney. So we'll select Auto ROI Left Kidney and start clicking around the left. I want to include the entire kidney and not clip any edges. Once we have that, we'll do the same in this plane. And so if we uh, make a mistake and click somewhere inside the kidney or too far away, you can right-click to undo the mistake. And finally, uh, we need to place the region inside the kidney. Now this is the most important step. We want to be right on the edge of the collecting system and right on the edge of the outside of the kidney, so the entire width of the parenchyma. If we include too little or too much, we will not get a very accurate ROI and we'll have to repeat the steps. And so now we get an overlay. We can also click the excretion button to look at the collecting system ROI, which was also calculated automatically during this step. So that looks pretty good, so uh, let's do the right side. So the right side is, appears to be delayed, so we need a different time point. So this one looks pretty good right before the collecting system starts to enhance. And let's repeat the same steps. Once again, we're going to place two regions of interest on the outside of the kidney. And then a third one, the most crucial one, will go on the inside. So again, this step is very important and we need to capture the entire width of the parenchyma. So not too narrow and not too wide. This placement becomes intuitive after doing just a couple of cases. So now we have the overlay for the right kidney. Now let's look at everything we have so far. And remember, when we're looking at the collecting systems, only the enhancing portions of the collecting systems are being picked up, as seen on the right. So now let's look through the results. Here are the enhancement plots, the functional PATLAC plots we'll go through in detail later, the excretion plots, which include the collecting system, and the tabulated results. Now for transit times, I like to look at a subtraction MIP. Let's look at the left and see when we can first see the collecting system begin to enhance. So here's the first point where we see the enhancement in the collecting system. So we will mark it as CTT in the controls. Let's look for the ureter and for the first time it enhances. And there it is. So let's mark RTT for the left. Let's do the same thing on the right. So here's the collecting system fully enhanced, and let's go back until it disappears. 
Okay, and here's the first time it appears. So let's verify by going forward. Yep, that's the collecting system. Find the first point again and click CTT. Now if we go all the way to the end of the dynamic, we don't see a ureter, so we leave it blank. So all the values for CTT and RTT have been filled in for us. Let's look at the PATLAC settings. Due to the limitations and assumptions made by the PATLAC model, we have to use a subset of the dynamic data. These settings are set for you automatically by the software, but you still need to double check them. We're trying to capture the filtration phase, which is roughly 30 seconds to a minute and a half after injection for another 30 seconds to a minute and a half, depending on the patient. At 10 seconds per acquisition, we can see that our values for T-min and T-max fall within the filtration phase for this case, but the left and right sides are different. Let's set the settings for the right to be the same as the automatic settings for the left, because that has the higher correlation. We can look at the function further by looking at the PATLAC maps. So let's get rid of the ROI overlays, select map and PATLAC. Let's change the color scale to rainbow and add a color bar. Let's lock the window on leveling. And now we can scroll through the slices to look at the rest of the maps. Now let's go back to image and set it to black and white linear. And let's look at some other image types. For example, we can look at a subtraction image. We can also look at an enhancement image, which is just a percentage enhancement. And you can see the lungs towards the top light up as well. Uh, we can also look at a subtraction MIP through time, which gives us a nice image where we see all phases of enhancement on a single slice. And finally, we can also look at a MIP of the entire study, where in one image we see the entire dynamic study. I hope you found this brief introduction useful, and if you have any questions, please get in touch with me via email. Thank you very much.